I am Quirt. I am Quirt. Hello, guys. It's time for another boxing. This time for the Hot Toys Avengers Infinity War Groot and Rocket set. We first take a look at the box art. The box art reminds you of the movie Avengers 3 Infinity War of Groot and Rocket. It's a nice depiction of the characters. Okay, okay on the side. Production details on the back, and the most important, Infinity Gauntlet on the right side. On the other box, on the back side, is the credit to the production team. Of course, we all know Howard Chan and J C Hong. They are the leaders and of this project. Also, there are other producers. Jamie Lo, Hero Grand, Lemon Poon. Also, the sculptor for Groot is Jason Joseph Dunn. Kudos to the guys. Next, we look at the figure itself. So for this set, you got a Groot and Rocket. Simple. One thing you need to command is that the Paint application on the grid figure is amazing. This is the third iteration. Uh, for me, I prefer the teenage grid because the first version is basically is a, is, a, is a lump of wood. The baby grid is cute, but it, it you cannot play with it in a one six scale. For the teenage grid, it got an attitude. It serves a function. It helps out Thor, so it's top in my books. Okay. You look at closely at the head sculpt. Although it's not a human sculpt, it's very good details on the uh, on the coloring of the tree tree trunk, the mold on the top, different layers of paint. But one word to be careful is that um, the shoulder joints and the arm joints. Are smaller than your typical figure, so they are more fragile. So make sure you be careful when you play with it. Try to articulate it. Okay. Okay. And also, if possible, I probably want another joint and a hip. For more articulation, it's just amazing to look at the textures of the art, of the of the paint. Next, we can talk look at the instruction manual. It also tells you the limited range of motions for the arms, for the back, for the leg. But one thing to complement is that for the hip joint. A copy Iron Man that you can pull down a hip joint for increased articulation, which is a good deal. And also, there are many branches, tiny branches, the the size of your nose hair. So you have to apply it carefully on the figure, and it's a pain in the ass because they are soft, they are hard to fix. But once you get in there, it's well worth the effort. It's very soft. It's nice there too, and then it's the third one, and then it's the fourth one behind there. Okay, there you go. So, so it's a nice figure, probably my best script so far. Next, we're gonna talk about rocket. Actually, I'm not gonna talk about it because he got a twin. It's the same exact rocket from the Garden of the Galaxy 2 set. So, the paint, the costumes, exactly the same. I cannot tell the difference. So basically, if you already have the Garden of the Galaxy, 
you can go for the single grid set. You don't need the both set. And also the Guardian of the Galaxy rocket, you got an extra help scope. Not the open head, not the screaming, the normal one. The one they recycle from the first Guardian of the Galaxy uh, figure. So, overall it's a nice set. It's amazing. So, basically, you ask yourself, uh, if you don't have the Guardian of the Galaxy, uh, you can definitely go for the combination set. Next, we will look at some of the accessories. Okay. It got another, it's not a head sculpt, it's a fake sculpt, basically. It's just a face plate. You step on, step off with this. So you compare it to the original. The original is the standard teenage grunt. The next one is a it's kind of piss off look. So I like it. It's, it's although it's not a human face, but it has character. Character of the grid. Amazing. The same excellent ping apps, and the and the design. Next we have the tree hand. When they try to smash something. Okay, it's nice. People are complaining, hey, how come we don't have the um, Stormbringer arm? Well, but that is another set. Next, we have two small hands, one for the holding of the game device. Well, I call this Game Boy, because back in my age, Game Boy was very popular. So today, for the younger guys, they probably don't know what a Game Boy is. So trust me, in my days, Game Boys were much more popular than Switch, without a doubt. Okay, it's a nice toy. Okay, let me get this get straight first. One second, there you go. Okay, okay, there you go. Next, we have the arms and the, the hands of the feet of the rocket. Because they are all tiny weeny, I'm not even gonna bother. Then we move on to the guns. Okay, this one is for Groot. The design is okay, the playing application is okay, it's nothing exceptional, but it's still accessory. And also, uh, if you display a grid, you don't normally display with a gun. It's not his character. And next we have another gun for rocket. So basically, every different rocket has a different gun. This one is no exception. The playing gap, the paint app, the weathering is quite nice. So as you can see, okay, I recall that someone that's saying this is uh, something different from the movie, but I don't know the details, I haven't rewatched it yet, so if anyone knows what's, what, what's different about it, leave a comment, okay. Also, there's a strap, they can strap on the gun, I'm just too lazy to put it on today. Okay, overall, it's a, it's a nice accessory. It's not a lot. So in closing, uh, we also have two snake stand. So basically, I think it's an improvement on the previous version. On the previous version, the base was so large, it so took up a lot of space. But this one is small, so small hexagon. So basically, you can it gives you some uh, flexibility in case you want to do a standing, flying position. You're still capable of doing that. So, overall, it's a very nice set. So, again, uh, this is the first release uh, of Infinity War figures for Hong Kong. Because uh, Black Widow was a special release for Japan. So, there will be a long road ahead. We we'll probably have Cap, Iron Man, Thor, etc, etc. It will be a long time be before we complete the Infinity War collections. And after that, there are Avengers 4, so there's no coming back, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like or subscribe if you want. Cheers.